Hear the words of the psalmist. Uh, this is Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full honor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has gained renown for his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food to those who fear him, and he is ever mindful of his covenant. Friends, let us come and worship the Lord. Amen. They need those yeah. instruments, yeah. Robert. Yeah. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. <laughs> Thank you. 
might worthily magnify your holy name. But truth is that your holy name we can hardly utter, because in your presence we can barely look up or speak. But yes, we want to live our lives individually and in community in ways that truly magnify your holy name. The truth is that you have entrusted your holy name to us. You have called us as your witnesses. You have empowered us to be your good news messengers. And so we pray in this awesome moment in your presence. Match up your holy name with our poor testimony that we may make your name and your power and your purpose clear before those who live amongst us. We pray for freedom and courage to praise you, and that by our praise, even the angels in heaven may be invited to all, that people may be summoned to notice, the children in our midst may be moved to trust you. So forgive our sins, our wandering hearts, and our divided hearts. And bless and renew us in the name of Jesus, who taught us together as we pray. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
morning he gets you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. And Moses told Aaron, say to the entire Israelite community, come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. And when, while Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked toward the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. And the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. And that evening, quail came and covered the camp. And in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. And when the dew was gone, this like thin flakes, like frost on the ground, appeared on the desert floor. And when the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. The Gospel, John 6 various passages. So they asked him, what sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is this bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the men in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. He said all these things while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. This is the word of the Lord. 